Hi everyone, I'm Sandra and today on MadMugger we are covering the second part of the Vectors Crash Course. In today's video, I'm going to cover applications of the DOT products, which includes length of projection and the acute angle between two non-zero vectors, and applications of the cross products, which includes the perpendicular distance, area of triangle, and area of parallelogram. If all you wanted was a consolidated summary of all the results, you can just pause the video right here and copy down everything on this screen. But if you want to understand how each of these results is obtained, then I suggest you continue watching. Personally, I have never memorized anything here, because if you choose to blindly memorize a bunch of results for one exam, by the time you're sitting for the next exam, you will probably have forgotten everything. Instead, I chose to derive everything on the spot from the definition of a dot and cross product. Even if that is not your cup of tea, you may find it easier to remember if you have some vague idea of where each result comes from. Let's start with an easy one. If you have a vector A and a vector B, and you want to find the acute angle theta between the two vectors, then you use the dot product. The definition of the dot product is a dot b equals mod a mod b cos theta. And to find the angle theta, just rearrange this to cos theta equals a dot b over mod a mod b. And I like to put a mod in front of the a dot b because later on, when you go on to find theta by taking cosine inverse of this expression, you want the acute angle theta. So that means that cosine theta has to be positive. If you find this manageable, then we can move on to the next one, finding the area of a triangle. If I let the vector OA equals A and OB equals B, then the length of the line OA is mod of A or mod of OA. And the length of the line OB is mod of B or mod of OB. Think of this in terms of how you would find the area of the triangle OAB if this was a purely geometry question. So, in secondary school, you might have learned that the area of a triangle is half AB sine C, where A and B are the lengths of two sides of the triangle, and the big C is the angle in between those two sides. If we apply that here, mod of OA or mod of A is the length of this side of the triangle, and mod B is the length of this side of the triangle, and this theta is the angle between the two sides. So applying this formula, the area of triangle OAB is actually equal to half times mod A times mod B sine theta. And if you compare this to the definition of the cross products, mod of A cross B equals mod A mod B sine theta. So actually this part is just half mod A cross B. Now suppose I add a point C here such that OACB is a parallelogram. How do you find the area of this parallelogram? Actually, it's very obviously just 2 times the area of the triangle OAB. So the area of the parallelogram OACB is 2 times half of mod A cross B, which is equal to mod of A cross B. This is how you find the area of the triangle and area of parallelogram using the cross product. If you've made it this far, you can probably keep on going to the last two results for today. Length of projection and perpendicular distance. Suppose I have the points O, A, and B, where O, A is the vector A and O, B is the vector B. This angle theta is the angle between the vectors A and B. And if O, A is a vector, then the length of the line O, A is mod O, A or mod A. Now suppose I drop a perpendicular from A to O, B. Let's call this point F. F is the foot of perpendicular from A to OB. Looking at this triangle OAF, we already know the length of the side OA, which is mod A. Our aim is to find OF and AF. In vectors terminology, OF is the length of projection of vector A onto vector B. It's like if OB is a wall and OA is an object, and you shine a torch vertically downwards, the length of the shadow cast is the length of projection. Then, AF is very simply the perpendicular distance between the points A and the line OB. Looking at the triangle OAF, cos theta equals to mod OF over mod of OA, which can be rearranged to mod OF equals to mod A cos theta. 
Now compare this to the definition of the dot products. This is almost like the dot products except that the mod b is missing. You can put it in by multiplying by mod b over mod b. And then this expression becomes mod of a dot b over mod b. We put a modular sign in the numerator because you're finding a length, so you want a positive value. So that means the length of projection of a vector a onto a vector b is mod of a dot b over mod b. Take some time to pause and process this if you need. On the other hand, sine theta equals to mod af over mod a, so sine theta equals mod af over mod a, which can be rearranged to mod af equals mod a sine theta. Comparing this to the cross products, you can see that mod of a cross b is almost this, but with the mod b. Once again, you deal with it by multiplying by mod b over mod b. Then this part here is mod of a cross b. Therefore, the perpendicular distance from a point a to the line OB is mod of A cross B over mod B. Take a very deep breath to pause and process this. Stop and replay any parts if you need. And that's all for today's video. I hope you now have a better understanding of the applications of the dot and cross products and that you will find this somehow helpful. All the best for your school exams or A-levels or just life in general. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments.